Well, another one done, ready to ship out. And it seems like these 392s just keep on multiplying. So this is the third 392 at our shop right now. Um, we just finished this one and we're building two others as we speak and mine's even in the parking lot. So uh, I guess these things are a little more common than we think, but this is a Jeep that we built about two years ago for our first customer, Dave, who owned it. Um, and at that point we used factory Rubicon uh, 392 axles and did our long arm kit on 37s. Well, that Dave sold it to another Dave and the new Dave says, I want one ton. So that's what we did. Um, and this is what we came up with. So uh, this thing has Curry axles in it. Um, and so Curry 70s front and rear. And you look underneath there, it has RCV uh, CVs in it. It's got PSC Hydro Assist. This axle is 70 inches wide and it's using the spider lock bead locks uh, with 40 inch Nitto trail grappler. So these spider locks are, locks are kind of old school, still around. Um, these happen to be three and a half inch backspace on a 17 by nine rim. Well, we'd really like to be a little closer in four and a quarter, four and a half, but that's all they have in the spider lock. So it gives you that kind of cool wide uh, trophy truck stance, um, especially with the 70 inch wide Curry axles. Um, on this upgrade, we went ahead and put the American Adventure Lab inner fenders in this, which allowed us to hollow out the factory Rubicon fenders and fit the 42s. And then when you do that, you go ahead and put the Quake LED front marker lights in there. So a uh, really clean way to fit 42s with that stock painted fender lift, or sorry, we all wish we had 42s. These are 40s, Nitto 40s, um, but hollowing out the fenders really works. Um, as far as drive lines, we have 1350 CVs front and rear. Like I said, our long arm kit underneath this thing. During this kind of uh, next step build, the customer went ahead and had us add the Rockside engineering steps. So um, electric step popping down, easy to get in and out of. And keep in mind when you do put the Rockside engineering steps on with our long arm, you will have to modify uh, the steel on the back side of the Rockside engineering steps and it's basically just a quick clearance around the uh, link mount bracket. Um, this thing actually has four and a half inch coils on it as it sits right now, front and rear. And the rear American Adventure Labs inner fenders as well. Once again, same thing, inner fender delete, where we actually get the bolts right here that replace the clips and hold the original plastic inner fender back on. Um, this Jeep is kind of unique because it was one of our first long arm builds. It still has the factory muffler back there, um, which means inside the Jeep, it still has the button to turn the exhaust on or off. Uh, when we put the long arm kit, all we did was modify the head pipe up at the engine and keep the factory exhaust. As you can see, he added a nice skid plate uh, to protect his stock muffler there. Um, originally on the build, we did the Poison Spider swinging tire rack, which can't get anymore because Poison Spider, I guess, is out of business, but the tire rack mounts to the bumper. So when we went from 37s to 40s, we had to kind of rework the tire mount, make it eight lug and kind of modify it to get the camera and the license plate mount uh, to work on this go around. So uh, one of the things we did on this one is being that it is the 392 and a V8, um, we found that sometimes people are complaining about the 513s and the 538s being too low for fuel mileage reasons, because uh, we do have a bunch of overdrives in the transmission. So on this one, we went with 488 gears in here. So the Curry uh, High Pinion 70s front and rear have 488 gears front and rear uh, with Eaton E-lockers. So we're hoping that'll bring the RPM down a little bit because it is an 80 mile an hour uh, drive it to the airport, pick up your grandmother, three, 392. Um, other than that, just has standard Fox shocks on this one. I'm sure he'll, he'll upgrade soon, but at this point, the 2.0 Fox shocks are working good. Uh, standard bumps. Um, what we did do is use our 
billet drag link uh, with the apex ends on it to go in there. And you can see the uh, hydro assist mount that comes from Curry on their 70 ready to go. Uh, so all we had to do is do everything on the engine. Keep in mind on the 392s, they never did have a belt driven pump on the motor. So we obviously had to pull the front of the motor off, add a pump, new brackets, new belt, uh, reservoir, cooler to get the hydro assist to work. Um, this isn't our first rodeo. We've had the hydro assist on our 392 for, oh, at least um, six months or so. Another one for a year. We're really happy with where PSC has their hydro assist kit uh, on the 392s. Um, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. The reason we did the RCVs, because this still has a stock transfer case in the Jeep. Um, so we're still running all wheel drive. So um, hubs are drive flanges, as you can see right here. Um, no locking hubs on this thing with the RCVs. So it's always basically an all wheel drive. Um, and we really haven't had any failures of the Rubicon transfer cases yet. I know, yet. I mean, I know a lot of people on the internet are talking bad about them, but on mine, we've absolutely beat on it and it's totally fine. And so we'll see how this goes. Um, as far as the interior, we did do a taser for putting the axles in, um, but nothing else has really been changed. The e-lockers are hooked up to the factory switches. Um, and then we're using some of the accessories for things like the uh, aftermarket uh, ARB air compressor and things like that. So um, basically all stock inside and uh, ready to go. And Dave is gonna go ahead and hit the Rubicon with this. He already did with the stock axles in 37. So it is a wheeler and a daily driver and you know, really hard to beat. The color with the gold and the green uh, is classic. These 392s are are just nice rigs. I mean, it's really tough to beat the daily driver, driver, rock crawler, tow with it, everything Jeep. So another 392 out the door. See ya.